if the ratio of sum of n terms of two APs is 3n plus 8 is to 7n plus 15, then find the ratio of their 12th term. So, solution. Let A be the first term and D be the common difference for the first AP. And let capital A be the first term and capital D be the common difference for the second AP. We have supposed capital A and capital D for the second AP and small a and small d for the first AP. Please keep this in mind. Now question has asked to find out the ratio of their 12th term. Isn't that? And we know 12th term is represented by t 12. So let's use small t for the first AP and capital T for the second AP. So question is asked the ratio of their the ratio of the 12th term. We need to find out this ratio. Is this clear? We know Sn for the first AP is given by n by 2 in bracket 2a plus n minus 1d. What does Sn represent? Sum of first n terms. Is this clear? And again for second AP, Sn is given by same formula. Just the difference over here is we have used slightly different S. But this also represents sum. Sum of n terms of any AP. And in this case, we have used capital A and capital D as for our supposition. After this, question has said the ratio. Ratio of the sum of n terms means this as n over this as n is provided as 3n plus 8 is to 7n plus 15. So, by equation, Sn divided by Sn is equal to 3n plus 8 over 7n plus 15. Now, we will put the value of this Sn as well as the value of this Sn. So, the value has been kept. Now, we can check over here, this n by 2 and this n by 2 can be cancelled. So, after cancellation, we are getting this line. We have copied all other terms as they are just we have removed this n by 2. Is this clear? Now, this term is multiplied by 2 and divided by 2. After all, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. The same n minus 1 will come. Isn't this? In denominator as well, we are multiplying with 2 and dividing by 2 to get this portion. The question must come in your mind, why are we doing so? Why are we multiplying by 2 and then dividing by 2? It is just to take common. Because if we have 2 over here and if we have 2 over here, that 2 can be taken common. In denominator as well, 2 and 2 can be taken common common. That's why we have multiplied by 2 and divided by 2. After this, in next line, we are going to take common. So, on taking common, we have got this portion inside the bracket. Please take your time to understand. Now, we can again cancel out this 2 and 2. Isn't this? So, we will get this portion in numerator and this portion in denominator. Is this clear? Again, please recall back the question has asked to find out the ratio of 12th term means T12 over capital T12. And we know 
T12 is given by A plus 11B. And this capital T12 is given by A plus 11 capital D. Isn't this? So, we have to get this portion to get our required answer. Isn't this? Now, you check over here. If we replace this portion, if we replace this n minus 1 over 2 by 11, then we are going to get here a plus 11d. I repeat, if we replace this n minus 1 by 2 by 11, this portion replaced by 11, then we are going to get a plus 11d. Similarly, in denominator as well, this n minus 1 by 2 will be replaced by 11. Then we are going to get a plus 11d in denominator. Look, this is what we require. And if we get this one, then we can replace this by t12. And this one can be replaced by capital T12. Isn't this? So, replacing n minus 1 over 2 by 11 means this portion will be replaced by 11 as well as this portion will be replaced by 11. It means we are just writing 11 in place of n minus 1 over 2. That is n minus 1 over 2 is equal to 11. It means n minus 1 is equal to 22. It means n is equal to 23. Means the value of n must be 23. Why are we finding out the value of n? Because as soon as we replace this n minus 1 over 2 by 11, the very moment this n must be replaced by 23. Is this clear? Now, we get a plus 11D. A plus this one is 11. D and in denominator, A plus this is replaced by 11. So, A plus 11D equal to in right hand side, this N will be replaced by 23. So, the N has been replaced by 23. Similarly, in denominator, this N will be replaced by 23. Now, we will simplify the right hand side to get this one. The numerator comes out to be 77 and the denominator comes out to be 176. Here, we can cancel out the common factor. The common factor is 11. So, after cancellation, we are getting 7 over 16. Again, this A plus 11 D is T 12. Isn't that? So, A plus 11D is replaced by T12 and the denominators A plus 11D is also replaced by capital T12. And right hand side is copied as it is. Therefore, the ratio of the 12th term of the two APs is 7 is to 16. That's our answer.